Y'all care everything, right? Oh yeah, we back. We back like a fucking crackhead. Fuck! They trying to take me out the game, gang. Fuck. Rebound times NBA players went too far, bro. He's God damn it. Don't listen to this. He's an idiot. Hey, 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 I'll see you later. Nah, yeah, I took it off. No echo, no. Nah. Times NBA players went too far. Alright. I'll just wait really his ass. Gordon Hayward used to be nice with the jazz, bro. I don't know about that cut though. That might have been his rookie year or something. Uh, Delonte just stuck his finger in that man's hole. I know he was hey, irritated after that. And so was James Harden, because he ran into a trash talking fan and went way too far. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll record the whole fucking video. Just stay away. Get back to your seat. I was back here. I should have disconnected. I've never seen this video. I mean, the guy kind of had it coming. And Dennis Rodman had it coming too. Because he did something so stupid. It was It got him sued for a million dollars. See, during a game against the Timberwolves, Rodman went out for a rebound. It came crashing down to the court. Well, instead of just getting back up and shaking it off, the man snapped. Oh, the beat the fuck out of Dennis Robin ass. Confused ass nigga. My fault. <laughs> yeah, he just kicked that camera guy. Boy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm suing the fuck out this nigga, bro. He kicked me like that. Nuts. And I ain't lie, I'm not fighting back. I'm suing his ass. What the With fuck? A huge mistake. Like, this nigga just kicked his ass. Because this incident got Rodman suspended without pay for 11 games. And he was forced to pay the cameraman $200,000 in nigga. Costing Rodman a grand fuck? total of over $1 million. Damn. Rodman's got I can't even feel my leg no that. more, look, oh, look Kevin dude. Durant, he's kicking himself over his Twitter. Because for the last decade, this man's tweets have been demented. I mean, he's tweeted about wanting foot rubs, thirsting over random celebrities, telling us about his bubble guts, and slippage. Fine, there's one tweet I That's went a little too KD far. Trade Cause KD five. once confessed to the world he wanted to drink Scarlett Johansson's bath water. I don't, know I don't even know what to say. Is, this guy was really down bad. Fine, Kendrick Perkins is down even further. Cause this man got on his knees and violated LeBron James. It was May 17th. 2008, my birthday, the night bro. before the biggest game of Perkins' life, because he was about to take on prime LeBron in a Game 7 matchup. So right before oh, bed, he full. dropped down to his knees to say a prayer before the big game. I know, wrong that's with when it. Perkins took things too far. I was scared as hell. You pussy. Who the Willie, fuck is that? Why the fuck is he on my to that Somebody game me, seven uh, YouTube against deep. LeBron James. And this was the only time that I actually prayed Bro, that something happened bad. to him at practice. Oh. I said, you know what? Like, no, I, no, I, I no. did. <laughs> what a thing what to confess. Fuck? I know, but I'm being real. Like, I was like, let us get breaking news that LeBron has you know, towards ACL or something. I ain't like, like, tearing the ACL. I, I, I did, crazy. bro. Like, I ain't I'm like, not even lying. I ain't gonna say I wish like I bad on somebody, but I'm like, dang, bro, like, just, just get, get hurt, like, a couple plays, but, like, the ACL, though, bro. Like, I ain't lying, bro. Like, a big game, I'm like, bro, please just miss a quarter or something. Like, like, God damn. But, like, ACL? Jesus. This man literally ACL prayed crazy, on LeBron's bro. downfall. And hey, he might have won the game, but I'm just glad no one got hurt. Cause Damn. Matt Barnes did something so crazy, he almost killed his entire team. Yeah, during a team flight, Matt was hanging out with he the tried boys, to get a pilot some on card games. And while he thought he was in for a good time, in the of the it flight. was anything but that. Cause after losing over twenty thousand dollars, <clears> Matt wasn't seeing green; he was seeing red. And he decided to take his anger out by punching a window on the ass. I lost an unbelievable hand that was worth a lot of money, maybe 15 or 20,000 was on the line. 
and there was no way I, th I probably got cheated. Um, but as soon as I lost, I was pissed, and I just, and I don't even know why I didn't punch the window at, at 30,000 feet in the air when I punched this window. And after I was done, I'm like, yo, what did I, I just punch the window? Like, what if I would have punched the window? Luckily, it was two panes of glass, but like my hand was bleeding bad. But were you there? Could you hear it? Yeah, he's right there. You're sitting right there? Yeah, yeah that's the oh table. Well, JJ probably took some of the fucking money a lot. Damn, well, this guy's just playing crazy. But Jimmy Butler, the straight savage, because he once squashed a beef. By going for a man's neck. See, back in 2020, Jimmy was taking on the Pacers when he came face to face with TJ Warren and did this. Now, what the fuck is TJ Warren now? Like, I actually. Bro had, had that bubble, and I ain't heard from him. Butler is still very upset. Calm for Vance, and the Heat go back to work ahead by 23. And Warren right back on Butler. Oh, Jim. Put a shoulder into the chest of... There was no way over the... The sudden out of just like the one foul. I mean, to me, I think it's tough I hate for him because shit. I can guard him and he can't guard me. What he said was, was truly disrespectful. And it's all good because um he's not he's not even in my Oakland league like nowhere near me um and if if I was a coach I would shit. I would never put him on me ever again he's he's like no put somebody else on me because I'm I'm a Tez every time we play Jesus no, Jimmy did him dirty boy he did Dwayne Wade even dirtier because Jimmy once tried to steal this man's wife but yeah I, I didn't like this phase of Jimmy with the with the fucking dreads bro. In front of the entire That's world, some trolling see, shit. Jimmy and D Wade go way I think back. He has some the two went to the same uh, college. Too, I've bro. done tons of interviews together, and they're both stars in Miami. So over the years, they became close friends. Niggas from the kids. But in 2018, Jimmy broke the bro code because he was scrolling on Instagram, just seeing what's up. When a nah. woman caught his eye, famous actress Gabrielle Union, aka Dwayne Wade's wife. Yeah, Jimmy wanted that butler. <laughs> and he didn't care who her man was. So he shot a shot in the comments saying, well, damn. But Jimmy can keep dreaming because shortly after, he got his ass set straight by D-Wade, who said, put well damn and caps on my wife's photo again. And you're going to see what the good, the bad, and the ugly's like. Damn. Jimmy thought he could send for D-Wade's girl and get away with it. And Robert Horry thought he hit. could get away with it too. But what he did to he his coach know. was so disrespectful, it got his ass traded. Yeah, in 1997, <laughs> Corey was playing for the Suns, and they sucked. I mean, they were so bad that they started their season 0-13. and 13. And as Damn. a result, Robert blamed one man for all the losing, his head coach, Danny Ainge. Danny Ooh, Ainge. He hated with a passion. Ain't he a legend? It was weird. I hated Danny I heard his name it's, uh, The quick version of he took over for um, the coach, and he became the head coach, and we never liked Danny Ainge. Yeah, coach wow. had a target on his back. During a game against the Celtics, Ori finally pulled the trigger. Cause after being benched by Danny trigger, in the bigger, middle of a blowout, bigger. this happened. Sunday night he did this to his coach Danny nah. Ainge. Tonight Robert Ori has himself a new team. Niggas after serving a two-game suspension for the towel episode, Robert Ori is supposed to be back in the Phoenix uniform tonight. Instead, he's LA bound. Uh, Robert was struggling in our system. I never felt like Robert felt like he belonged. This guy really got traded to LA for throwing a towel on his coach's face. Ridiculous. But hey, he went on so to win a chip so with the Lakers, so it all worked out in the end. But I can't say the same for Latrell Sprewell, because he took things oh, so far it ruined his NBA career. See, in the early 90s, Latrell was a star. He was a four-time All-Star who made over a hundred million in the league. I mean, you'd think life would have been breezy for Latrell. But behind the scenes, he had a serious anger problem, and it led to making some of the worst mistakes of his life, like threatening his teammates with a wooden two by four, to talking crazy at fans. This guy was out of control, and in 1997, like Trell went farther than he had ever gone before. Welcome to the Split River High Afterlife Support Group. Everyone calls me Maddie. There's same reason why. Cause at a Knicks team practice, he got asked by his head coach to make better passes. But instead, Latrell served up something different because he got so angry that he started strangling his coach in the middle of practice, getting himself suspended for a Man, year and being fined over jail. six million. 
Jesus, after something like that, you're forever the crazy guy. But how how you tell somebody Jesus, don't go, go to jail, bro? suspended for a year and being fined over six million. Jesus, after something like that, you're forever the crazy guy. But we got to talk about a crazy team because the 2002 Portland Trailblazers were so insane. They're remembered in history as the Jailblazers. Yeah, jail in the early 2000s, the Blazers were a big problem. By day, they were bullying the entire league. Hard fouls, playing dirty, trash talking anyone that stood in their way. But what they were doing off the court was worse than anything they could do on. They was a third before the Memphis Zach Randolph getting arrested for underage drinking. Quintel Woods was arrested for speeding, driving without insurance, and even dogfighting. Uh, at one real, point, bro. half of the Blazers' starting lineup had all been arrested for drugs. I mean, it was so <laughs> bad fuck? that during the 02-03 season, the longest the Blazers went without a member being arrested, fined, or suspended was 17 days but despite every arrest these guys managed to get off and make it back to the court going on to be remembered forever as the jail blazers but look that's just one side imagine of they guys. won a championship more complex year. than that well, like that john moran right now crazy. everyone's talking about his controversies but he's got a whole other side to it right, like bro, uh, the dude bought a mansion for his parents all right bro all right bro i get it